Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning to you all. Today I will I will present about demonstration of vehicle brake system lap 2 master cylinder inspection removal and refitting. Before we start the video demonstration, firstly we need to know the system of the master cylinder. Master cylinder. Inside the master cylinder we have two piston which which is first piston and second piston the first piston located on the rear side at master cylinder is for the rear side brake line tire and the second piston is located on the front side at the master cylinder is for the front brake line tire brake booster the brake booster is connected with brake pedal of the vehicle and also connect to master cylinder at the top of master cylinder we have brake fluid tank reservoir which contain the brake fluid or brake oil remove the brake line from master cylinder by using the special tools untie both nut connecting the brake booster to the master cylinder by using the T-shaped wrench size 10 mm. Procedure of overhauling the master cylinder. Firstly. We use screwdriver to loose the screw where connect the tank receiver to the master cylinder. After we remove the screw, we can just unplug the tank receiver from the master cylinder by pulling it apart and don't forget to remove the seal from the input and output of tank receiver. Next, we can remove the C-shaped clip from inside the master cylinder. But before that, we must unscrew the piston stopper from the side of master cylinder using the screwdriver for the c-shaped clip we can use a nose chain pliers or nose flat pliers to remove the c-shaped clip inside the master cylinder next for the piston to get out the piston out from the inside master cylinder, we must use the flat surface to knock the piston out from the master cylinder. Repeat the knocking process for the second piston. As we know, master cylinder have two piston for the first piston control, the front side brake and the second piston control, the rear, the rear side brake. For our group inspection, we can say the condition of the both piston is bad and rusty and not suitable to be used. For the recommendation, it should change new piston because if it not change, it will cause the master cylinder jam and can cause hazard to the driver. Inserting the two seal bag, which is output and input for the reservoir tank. Then connect back the reservoir tank to the master cylinder by push it by finger and make sure the front port and rear port connect correctly into master cylinder port. Then screw back the tank reservoir. Firstly, we insert the first piston which is the front piston to the master cylinder. For easier process, we can lubricate inside the master cylinder with an oil brake. 
make sure to stopper insert in the middle of the first piston after the first piston has passed through the hole we can insert the stopper then screw the stop with the master cylinder after that test the function of the piston before inserting the second piston next insert the second piston with push it with finger By using a vinyl caliper, we measure the length of push rod end. From the result, we get a value 10.4 mm length before the push to rod end. After push to rod, We get a value 36.79 mm. So we can say that the push rod and master cylinder is in good condition because the more the length of the push rod can give a good performance for a brake system. We can assemble back the brake line by using the special tools. Insert the master cylinder into the tool board from brake booster. Then tighten the two nut by using T-shaped wrench size 10 mm. That's all from us for the video lab demonstrate of led two master cylinder inspection, remover, and refitting. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good evening to you all. Uh, my name is Muhammad Hakimi bin Muhammad Hussein. I'm from Group D, Vehicle Brake System Lab. Today, I want to present about question on the lab sheet. For question one, uh, correct push rod length is essential to reliable braking. If the rod is too long, it causes the compensating part in the master cylinder to be closed off, eventually resulting in brake drag. The symptom of brake drag is the car pulling to the side. And another one, brake pedal stays down. And another one, brake fluid leakage and hard to stop vehicle, high pitch sound difficulty stirring and burning smell if the push rod is too short there will be excessive brake pedal travel and possibility there will be groaning sound from the brake booster uh, for question 2 uh, i use brake fluid dot 3 provided by produa that typical use for my v aviva and azia and my model for the car is my v the three typical type of brake fluid are dot three, dot four, dot five. The three letters DOT stand for D Department O of T Transportation, and the number in this case indicate relative boiling point. Higher number indicate higher boiling point. So three is smaller than five, and four is greater than three. Dot 3 and dot 5 glide coal base will absorb water. Dot 5 silicon base does not. The boiling point of the braking fluid is extremely important and can be negatively affected by absorption of water. Lower boiling point make it more likely that brake fluid will boil during prolonged period of braking. This will make the fluid more compressible and decrease your car ability to stop. This makes DOT5 seems the ideal choice with its more stable boiling point. 
but any water introduced to the system of fluid will form pockets of water that increase the likelihood of corrosion. Dot 5 also can't be used in any cars that have anti-lock brake as this will irrate the fluid. For question number 3, master cylinder is connected to the brake pedal and the master cylinder is connected to the brake line and it connected to the front caliper and then the wheel cylinder piston and lines. Uh, for question 4, the function of diaphragm in brake system is to add force to the brakes. When you push the brake pedal down, the lever that passes through the master cylinder crack opens a small valve in the booster that allows air to enter one side of the diaphragm. This increases the pressure on that side of the diaphragm and further push the lever along which push the piston in the master cylinder. In this lab 2, master cylinder, we had learned how to inspect, remove and defeating master cylinder. We also able to find about how the length of push rod and length to break can affect our performance. Then we also learned on how does diaphragm works and how to differentiate all brakes and what its function thank you all that all from us today